All right, let's get right to it. My first guest, very funny actor who created some of the most memorable characters on Saturday Night Live. Some of his films include Shrek, uh, of course, Austin Powers, the trilogy there. His new week, Dr. Seuss's The Cat in the Hat, opens nationwide tomorrow. Please welcome Mike Myers! <laughs> Have a seat. Uh, I am definitely not worthy. I am not worthy. You got a lot of fans here. Tonight. Well, it's great these guys are heroes, and I'm very proud to be here. Thank you so much. Now, what, you, you, what's great too is yeah. that I just played a cat, so if I get caught in a tree, you guys can come get oh, me. Oh, that's right. That's, that's right. That's, that's, that's right. Now, congratulations. You just had a, a street named after you? Yes, oh. yes. I, I actually have two streets named after me Ooh. in Toronto. Yeah. Um, and I don't know why, but I'm happy. Yeah, uh, but one of them got stolen. You mean? <laughs> Not the entire street. Oh, I no. see. Okay. Nothing so elaborate. Somebody stole the street sign. And uh, the very Canadian part of that is that the guy uh, stole it and put it in the, his front window. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> really? He was like, oh, yeah, like, I'm, you know, really proud, so I stole his sign. <laughs> and then, you know, I put it in the front window for people to see, eh? And then as... More, if you thought I couldn't get more Canadian, the neighbor said, oh, that's not right. We better call the cops. <laughs> and then the cops came, and he said, you're right. Fair enough. Here's the sign back. And, and again, it gets more Canadian. The cop went, well, he seems like a nice guy. <laughs> so they <laughs> just totally let him off, which I'm glad. <laughs> He's just a fan, eh? Nice guy. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. Well, there are nice people, the Canadian are. people. Are, are the New York fans different than the, than the Canadian fans? Do you sense, a, a, you know... Yeah, well, you know, I live in New York City. Mm -hmm. I love New York City. Right. Um, it's uh, New Yorkers are just way more outgoing than Canadian people. Right, like right. in the subway in Toronto, I'll come and people go, "So, Mike, you have to see your mom," and that's about it. Right. And in New York, it's like, "Mike Myers, how are you?" <laughs> and I'm like, "I'm fine." And then one guy about three days ago came up to me, said, "I'm so glad I'm seeing you when I'm high." <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to take that. I'm high as a kite, and here you are. I feel so grateful. <laughs> That's a compliment. I, I took it as a compliment. <laughs> Why not? Now, do you get the fans that think that they look like you? I get this a lot. Yes. People go, oh, my uncle has your chin. The guy looks nothing like me. Uh, it, it's, <laughs> it, it's rough. It does nothing for my self-image, because usually yeah. it's a guy coming up to me and going, hey, Mike, huh? <laughs> huh? Everyone says I look just like you. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, mm, well, didn't know I looked like someone's butt, but there you go. <laughs> yes, I do. And the family? I'm atomic, <laughs> as it would be. The family is good? Family's great. Yeah, yeah. I know. Thank he, you. You told me once, y your dad, I know you he was what? An, uh, my dad sold encyclopedias. Yeah. Door to door? Yeah, yeah. In fact, this, this is my wedding ring, and it's my dad's uh, Encyclopedia Britannica Salesman of the Year ring for 1956. Oh. Wow. So, yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. But you told me once, but he would tell people he did well, something. Well, here's my dad. You know, in Britain, you know, when he came to Canada, he, did not, he didn't like it when people come up and ask you what you did for a living. He thought that was rude. He thought that if you were, like, occupation identified that, you know, and, and he didn't make a lot of money, so right. he always thought that if he says, you know, I sell encyclopedias, people are going to say, oh, you know, he doesn't make a lot of money. So my dad would make up things like, yeah, I, in, I invented the metal tips on shoelaces, or, uh, <laughs> you know, what do you do for a living? Well, actually, I play the bongo drums on the Mission Impossible theme. You know, just make up crazy stuff. Big money in that, yeah. yes. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> now, he went for the big bucks and said he was a poet once. Oh. But, uh, no, he just, my dad was insane. <laughs> my mother's insane as yeah. well. I'm, I'm the product of two insane people. And you're the youngest of, of three. Of oh, three, three insane boys. children, uh, yes. Okay, three insane yes. children. Now, were you picked on as the youngest? Were you always the put-upon child, the hand-me-down child? The... Yeah, I was a yeah. punching bag. Yeah. I was pretty small to begin with. My two older brothers used to just, you know, I've had my head farted on more times than I care to. <laughs> you, you know, so, it's so always a bad can we sign. Just, can we just see that image in our own heads? For oh, a yeah. Minute? <laughs> it's, and it's always started bad, too. It always be... Hey, Mike. Hey, buddy. Come here. Whenever it started with, hey, buddy, I knew <laughs> yeah. I was drinking somebody's urine. Yeah. So, it's, it's, 
<laughs> they even, they, one time, they routinely used to strip me naked. We used to live in an apartment building, right. and they'd strip me naked and threw me in the hall and locked me out. And we had a lady from India who lived next door who was really lovely, but she was a very small woman, and I was her exact sari size. So I would put on the Indian dress. Just, I have to wait by the door wearing an Indian lady's dress, because oh. I had no clothes, beside, you know, Siva the many-handed one. And then <laughs> my mom would eventually come home, and it would be. <laughs> but I, I, I grew to love curry. And, uh, <laughs> I got it, so. You know, I, I'm a great believer in medicines, both Western and Vedic. And yeah. I have a good knowledge of that subcontinent. Yeah, it's a frightening childhood. I had a frightening yeah. childhood. And but, but you, you know, I, I always get a kick because we talk about our moms. Because your mom reminds me of my mom, that odd sort of, I don't know if it's odd. Eccentric, would that be the word? Uh, I'd say in yeah. Britain they would say in, in eccentric. And yeah. then in North America they would say clinically insane. Yeah, yeah. But uh, no, she's just, just great. My mom was a... She's a great mother. She, she, she raised us all to have interests and hobbies and, yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. So, you know. <laughs> this, in fact, Cat in the Hat is kind of a tribute to her. Because she used to read, uh, first book I ever read was Cat in the Hat. First book I ever read to me was Cat in the Hat. Yeah. And my mom used to read it in a, in a Liverpool accent because she's from Liverpool. Right. And uh, so for me, it was like, you know, in this box of two things, I will show them to you. Two things and I call them thing one and thing two, like... You know, so <laughs> the little, for me, it was like they talk like the Beatles, you know, on the cat in the hat. <laughs> Turn left at Greenland, you know. All right, look, we'll take a break. We'll find All out right. more about cat in the hat right after this. Ball with Mike Myers. <laughs>